Hi, I am Denise Johnson. I am one of the OBGYN generalists here at UT Health Austin, and I am here to answer your most Googled questions about the first trimester. So how does the baby develop over the course of the first trimester? So over the course of the first trimester, the baby is going to develop from just a few cells to about the size of a lemon. And during that time, all of the organ systems start to develop. We think most importantly about the brain and nervous system, but then all of the other organ systems, the intestines, um, the heart, all start to develop in the first trimester. Are there any foods that I should avoid during the first trimester? So you want to make sure to avoid any raw or uncooked foods. So no sushi or deli meats, and then also avoid any fish that has high levels of mercury, so your big fish like mackerel or swordfish. Um, items like that are the most common things that we want to avoid. Can I take pain relievers during the first trimester? So you can take certain pain relievers. We recommend acetaminophen, which is Tylenol. So just plain Tylenol, not Tylenol, cold and flu, things like that that have additional components. You want to avoid Advil, um, Aleve um, that, com that contain ibuprofen or naproxen. How much weight should I gain throughout my pregnancy? In terms of weight gain, it's really going to depend on what your initial weight is at the beginning of the pregnancy. So we can recommend a range from 11 to 30 pounds over the course of the pregnancy. And most of that is going to be in the second and third trimester. The first trimester, you'd really expect to gain about one to five pounds, not quite eating for two just yet. What precautions should I take during the first trimester? Overall, you are going to continue to live your daily life. We are going to recommend that you stop any alcohol use, tobacco use, drug use, um, stay away from hot tubs and saunas, and then if, any, if you have a cat at home, make sure that you're not the one cleaning the litter. What are the most common symptoms experienced during the first trimester? So the top three most common symptoms are really nausea and vomiting, breast tenderness, and significant fatigue. The good thing is that a lot of these will get better at, after the first trimester. A lot of the changes in pregnancy have to do with significant um, hormone changes as we support the pregnancy and the placenta. And so as your body um, works to support that, then you notice th these change in symptoms like nausea, fatigue. What are some tips to help improve nausea and vomiting in the first trimester? First, you can start with just small meals throughout the day. And sometimes people will find that ginger tea can help. And then we also just don't want you to suffer in silence. So there's a couple of vitamins and, and uh, medications that we can offer in the OBGYN office. So definitely let us know what you're experiencing and we can help you. What if I have spotting during the first trimester? So spotting is a very common symptom that is often normal but can be serious. So you definitely want to contact your OBGYN and we can definitely talk you through your symptoms. Is it normal to experience cramps during the first trimester? So cramping, if it's off and on, can be normal in the first trimester, but if you're having severe, persistent cramping, and especially if it's associated with vaginal bleeding, you definitely should contact your OBGYN and we can help you figure out if we need to see you or um, take care of you. What are the early signs of a miscarriage? Early signs of a miscarriage can be persistent cramping, so not the every now and then cramping, but cramping that really doesn't isn't going away and then heavy bleeding. So bleeding that's looking more like a period and not just a few um, spots. Um, those can be some important early signs to discuss with your OBGYN. Is it safe to exercise during the first trimester? So yes, it is safe to exercise. We actually want you to exercise. I usually tell my patients, if you were not running a marathon before your pregnancy, this is not the time to train for a marathon. But we do recommend the routine 150 minutes over the course of a week of, week of moderate exercise. And you want to avoid contact sports, so anything that would cause direct um, hits or trauma to the abdomen. But other than that, you can continue your routine exercises. Is sex safe in pregnancy? Yes, it is safe to have sex in pregnancy as long as you feel comfortable. And of course, always contact your doctor if there's any particular conditions that might make it unsafe. But overall, it's safe in routine pregnancy. How soon do I need to schedule a prenatal screening? 
You can contact our office as soon as you find out that you're pregnant. We will actually set you up with one of our nurses to help kind of figure out your history and get you set up with your initial medications. And then you will see one of the providers later on in the first trimester. So while these are the most common questions about the first trimester, keep in mind that each person has a different pregnancy and different health concerns. So you should always contact your OBGYN for specific questions. I hope this answered some of your questions about the first trimester. Make sure to tune in next time for questions about the second trimester.